Hi guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to my Terror Attack series, episode four of season five. Wow, sometimes I forget how far, how many episodes we've actually made of this game. It's pretty crazy. So, two things. First off, there's been two patches since the last time we played. Secondly, I was able to load my save game. I don't know if that's intentional or not. So, Terror Tech may explode any any given time while we were playing here. Uh, just in case, uh, just in case it does, I just wanted to let everybody know that it's not usual that you are allowed to load your previously saved game from a different version. But it's it's let me do it this time, so I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight it. I'm just gonna go with it. And look off in the horizon. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it from here. We're gonna get closer in a second, but I see a base that has all sorts of neat parts, including what I think is a fabricator. So I'm super, super, super excited. I was actually quite thrilled that it didn't destroy my save game because it's it takes a long time to get back to where I am usually. So this is great. So another thing I've noticed, well, well let's talk about the patch first. So first things first, what's this little hexagon? I think it's a hexagon. Yes, hexagon sitting here. Well, it's telling me that the generator, the thing that takes in all the fuel, will only work while whilst attached to the ground. They cannot function while whilst in transit. While in transit. That means I can't power or repower my batteries on this vehicle. So bye bye shields until I actually put that back into the ground and repower or recharge those batteries. Oh, that's so unfortunate. But at the same time, it kind of expect it kind of expected that because the shields on a vehicle is pretty it's pretty OP. It's pretty powerful. So I think they need to, you know, they need to make it so that it wasn't so so easy to to keep that going all the time. Secondly, let's talk about uh uh the uh re the uh solar panels. That's a big 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 thing. Something that is whoa. Oh. oh it's just bad guys are just sitting there not doing anything. And now we're going to I mean, I don't want to purposely get into fights because oh. Uh, okay, that must be a bug. Something's a bug here. I bet you it's a combination of having an old save with the new version. Because I don't think it's supposed to be allowing me to have the generator use fuel to power it right now. I'm not going to fight it. I think that's that's wonderful. Okay, so let's let's maybe we'll take along a little extra fuel there. <laughs> uh, I think that's a great idea. Let's uh, let's see if we can keep that get that battery charged up again. Okay. Anyway, so next is you'll notice that the regenerator. So before the regenerator used to be a kind of a weird orangey red kind of color. Now it's a green color. The shield is that white translucent or the blue translucent, and the Green is now the regenerator. The regenerator, of course, uh, repairs your your vehicle. I'm gonna attack this guardian while we've got that shield up. Sorry, and then we'll talk more about the changes in a second. Oh, that was super super easy. Oh 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 oh! Oh my little guy, my little guy! Hey, back off! Oh 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 oh! Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, he's got weapons on every angle. Nice little vehicle, actually. Well constructed. Designed to beat up your enemies from any angle. He's got like one wheel and he can still move. Yeah. I don't think so. How can you turn with one wheel? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, that doesn't make sense at all. Okay, so we're gonna take that wheel. We're gonna attach. Actually, let's take the one that's not damaged. I guess we're gonna need a few of them. So it doesn't matter. That's there any more? That... Oh, there's one that's not damaged. Perfect for my little guy. I don't think he got. Uh, I don't think he got too badly damaged there. But uh, we will take. Uh, we're going to take some parts here for him, because he definitely... Whoops, sorry, dude. <laughs> he definitely needs uh, a few things to be really good. Oh, did I just take that off of my vehicle? No, no, okay. Sometimes it's hard to... Sometimes it's hard to figure out uh, what, 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 angle, what angle you need the camera to be in order to do this correctly. Okay, so we want that in front of the cab, definitely. The ah! Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to put that in front of that, and then we'll put that there. And then, uh, if we yeah, if we get another wheel like that one, we'll put that there. Perfect. And with that, we can actually add another gun. Ah, I keep throwing them and losing them. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so you can't actually, like, chuck things, so you can pick things up and kind of give it an arc when you chuck it. 
And sometimes the physics is kind of wonky. Like, it, it is kind of there. And I don't know if that's a wind thing. I don't know. But when I throw it straight up, it's kind of coming down at an angle. I don't know. Kind of neat. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Uh, so we're going to take uh, an extra run. We're going to put it not facing upward because that does us no good. Facing backwards. Yes. That might be worthwhile. Oh, perfect. There's another one here. So... Sorry I'm not fast-forwarding this build, but, uh, you know, sometimes we actually got to do things together. You know, I can't fast-forward everything, guys. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I try to keep a nice balance so that we're not, you know, we're not spending too much time on the builds and we're not spending too little time on the builds because sometimes you get some information from me while I'm babbling and I don't even know it. So, okay, perfect. Was there any more of the, uh, oh, I'll take that. Yeah, those are those are always good. These these pounders always good. I I want to have a couple in behind my vehicle. That would be nice. And uh, okay, let's see if there's anything else there. Oh 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 yeah. Do not pass up weapons at this point. I'm trying to put them on properly though, Rob. <laughs> Whatever, that's fine. Uh, especially now because we if we don't have access to the shield all the time, I don't know if we're supposed to have a shield at all right now. But, uh, I don't know, it's working. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's another little guardian. Oh, two little guardians there, so let's take care of these guys. <laughs> Poor things. So, oh, the patch. So, also in the patch, they've made it so the cabs... What? Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Whoops, he came in from behind. And uh, the cabs now... Oh, who are you shooting at, dude? Like, seriously, who are, you, who are you shooting at? Who are you shooting at? Okay. So, dude, actually, if, if this ever happens and you want to just, you know, kind of manually take control of them, you can just double-click on the vehicle. Don't have to double-click on the cab or anything. Just the vehicle itself, anywhere on the vehicle. Uh, usually works fine. Ah, really? He got himself on here and can't get himself off. Fantastic. That's great. So we got to actually take apart part of this base so that we can get him freed off. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so there's our fabricators. Oh, there's GSO slot one. GSO slot two fabricators. So there's two different types of fabricators here. Okay, interesting. Okay, so let's, let's move this stuff out of the way. Okay, so we need to build an actual base. And I'd like to have, you know, something actually put into the ground. However... I want to be sure that we've got a vehicle that is uh, bringing fuel constantly so that we can keep shields up. And I also want to be sure that we've got a second set of shields for my vehicle as well. Okay, so what's this? <sighs> okay, so that is the refinery. Okay. That is... I'm actually just going to switch over to our, our other vehicle here. because. So yeah, all, you should just, just double-click... What are you shooting at? Dude... Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. He's, uh, I, I bet you a lot of this has to do with uh, the, the patch thing, but whatever. So, solar panels are now included in the game, and solar panels act very much like the generators, except do not require any resources, except for that, if we can see it. No, we can't actually see a sun, but it actually just uses solar energy or light in order to power... The generators, or the batteries, sorry, the powers the generator, the batteries, and of course the batteries are what are used to power your shields, etc. Oh, that's the fabricator. Okay, so the, is there two different types? Of, so there's a two-slot fabricator. Okay, and then it's there was another one here. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. A one-slot fabricator. Oh, wild. Okay, I have no idea how to use these. I guess we're going to figure it out. So I'm assuming with a two-slot two fabricator, you can just... You have more stuff going into it quicker? I don't know. Okay, so, all right. So we've got some, all right, let's, 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 we're actually going to build a base here. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward it while I put some stuff together for you guys. Wait, oh, silo. What do we do with the silo? Silo holds blocks and resource chunks to be used later. Oh, so it's just like the block silo from before. Okay, so the block silo is a storage unit of some sort. Oh, I wish I could tell this, my, my friendly, just to go climb up a tree. It's driving me crazy. He keeps nudging me. It's like, come on, what are we doing? What are we doing? Why are we standing here? What are, what's taking so long? What are we going to do now? What are we going to do now? What are you doing now? Hey, hey, oh, there he goes. See, look, oh, why are you trying to tip me over? Really? You saw that, right? He like drilled me from behind. That doesn't sound very good. Okay. Uh, 
All right, this is this is trickier than it looks. Okay, so <laughs> I uh, okay, I don't I don't know. Maybe we maybe we take off. I I think what we do is we uh, I know what we do. We do this. We drive him over here. Take off his AI module. Come back. There, now he's kind of stuck. He can't really do anything. I want to keep him handy because we are going to be using him to harvest materials for our new base. And actually, I'm, I'm, I don't want my base here. This, this is not where I want it. Uh, so we're, we're actually going to go back into the woodier areas because building a base right here seems like just a bad choice. <laughs> uh, but so now we gotta, we got to collect all this stuff. Uh, right. Yeah. Uh, I wish... I wonder... Hey, does the block... Si Hey, does the block silo? So in the original TerraTech, like in the pre pre or in the alpha TerraTech, the block silo which is this one? I'm not sure. Sorry, hang on. Hang on here. Bla uh, block silo. Okay. Small silo. Okay. So we should be able to put blocks on that. I have no idea how it works. I have no idea. Maybe maybe it only works after you build something in the fabricator, I don't know. I guess I guess we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so fast forward while I put all this crap on the uh, <laughs> on the vehicle. Okay, <laughs> bugger! He attacked my buddy. Oh, it took off. I feel bad now because he couldn't even defend himself because I took the the cab off. Really? Really? Okay. Really? You're just gonna sit there and circle? And you know I'm bigger and can't circle as fast as you? I'm not as nimble, I guess. Ah, bugger. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna try this again. And that means I gotta rebuild my pal. Nah, I'm not gonna bother until we get back. I am gonna keep this handy, though, because, uh, I just so many parts here, I don't wanna lose them. Okay. how that got down there uh okay so i got a bit of a problem uh, the problem being i just i put all the weight on the back and now it won't i can't actually bring the front down at all oh here it comes oh yeah oh <laughs> uh, i what am i building it's franken awesome I love it. Okay, so we're just gonna... I don't know, I just want to get all this stuff on. Okay, it kind of reminds me... It just... I know, I know it doesn't look anything like it, but it reminds me of the the toys. The misfit toys that uh, they found in Toy Story... I think it was Toy Story 1. The misfit toys at the neighbor's kid's house. The Barbie doll with the hook or whatever. Yeah, it's just kind of this misfit thing that's just kind of jumbled together using whatever parts it's, it could salvage. <laughs> this is like the epitome of what this game means. You could put literally anything together in any configuration and have it functional. Sort of. Ah, bugger. Okay, it does not maneuver well. Seriously, why? This is like the same enemy we fought last time. So I figure we can't beat him. Let's just... Uh, Roll over him and then chew him up. Seems like a good tactic. Oh, except when they do that. Okay, we gotta get on the other side of it. No! Uh, no! No, 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 no! Uh, okay, I can't. I can't move. Well, I can't do anything. Game is over. What do you mean, game is over? Son of a. Burr, dirt snugger! Okay, I'll be right back. Continue from save game. <laughs> Okay, fortunately, I was wise enough to save it not that long ago. Okay, so I'm just going to collect all this crap and keep going. Hang on. Okay, so the only reason I'm, <laughs> I'm just mashing everything onto this vehicle is 
because I'm not just a hoarder, because I think I am, actually, based on this. Not in real life, but definitely in games. I don't like wasting anything. But two, I want to actually find a better place to plant my base. And I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time building this massive vehicle that's really awesome that I'm just going to have to tear apart anyway. And I think building the base somewhere right next to a lot of trees. So, like, right here, or where the original base was. Like, I think the original base from the earlier versions of TerraTech was over here. What is that in the ground? What is that? Is that one of the old pedestals? Ah, crap. Excuse me. <laughs> I, 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 wide load here. Okay, so, yeah, okay. Uh, no, let's, uh, let's go up in this little treed area. Uh, no. I, I want a little bit of open space, but I want, you know, every, all the materials that's right nearby, I want it to be tree. Oh, no, 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 no. Bad guy, bad guy, bad guy. No, okay. There's a fair amount of bad guys. Oh, man, it's hard to drive this thing. <laughs> it's, and it's a little back heavy still. <laughs> okay, be right back. Okay, I think I like this spot right here. We're just going to take care of this guy. Uh, look, extra building materials. So here's the plan. So we're going to build our base right here. That way, um, when I tell my little dude to start harvesting, he's going to not only harvest trees, but he's going to harvest this Elementia. Actually, it's probably not even Elementia anymore. They probably changed the name of it. Uh, they've changed the name of everything, including all the minerals, so it's probably something else. Hold on, let me just uh, click it. Just out of curiosity. Oh, I can't click it now? Oh, that's weird. Oh, okay. Alright. That's fu- Oh, there we go. There's my little bubble. Oh. <laughs> really? Hello? Ah, there we go. Plumbite. Yeah, they call it plumbite now. Rich in plumbious deposits. Of course. Of course the plumbite is rich in, rich in plumbious deposits. So, and the other reason I want to build here for the base is because we've got kind of a launching point for when we do have uh, flyers. We can actually just launch right off the hill here. I think it would be great. Okay, so I'm going to start putting the base down uh, as best I can. Now, I want this to be really well defendable because I've heard horror stories of people putting stuff together and having it get destroyed by destroyed by invaders almost immediately. So we're we're gonna work very hard to make sure that that doesn't happen. Okay, so first things first, let's get down a refinery. <laughs> I don't know if I should fast forward this part or not, so I'm just gonna keep talking. And if I decide that it just I rambled on too much and I didn't accomplish much, then I'll fast forward it. If I feel that uh, we actually got somewhere and uh, we did pretty good, then you know maybe we'll uh, maybe I'll keep this. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna put kind of a foundation of blocks at the same time. Uh, of course, you know, these these add defenses as well as I'm, I really want to know if I put guns on this base, will it defend itself? So in other words, I brought, I bought, I brought all the guns I could find, I could salvage from that last battle. Plus we got these ones, like, will they, well, I wonder, and also, this is a great place to store stuff, too. That, that's the other part. You know, like, if I ever need another one of these uh, these guns here, you know, it'd be nice. It sure is nice to know that they will be available here. So we're just going to place those on like that. And uh, I don't know how many bad guys... Did you see that? It just... Sometimes things just kind of fly for no good reason. Okay, so shields. Now, it's going to have its own shield system, of course. And we want this... Sh okay, so this is the... Hold on, I... I really wish you could click, so the only way you can get the information bubble is on yourself. If you, you can't get the information bubble when it's on an ally, so you have to, or when it's on the ground even. So that's the regenerator bubble, so that's what's going to heal things. So we want that, uh, we're going to put that right there. We're, and then the shield gen is buried in here somewhere. Got a lot of these conveyors, which is good. It's good. I, I still don't know how useful they are because I think they, I think they change it. Uh, one of the things in the patch is they now operate in one direction, I think. I don't know. I, I, I remember reading something about how they, they now operate in the right direction. <laughs> Whereas before they kind of went both directions. So I don't know that, but you see, it doesn't, it doesn't really say what direction that goes. I don't know. Okay. And then the receiver, which is right here. We'll stick that. Oh, there's another one here. And then, of course, these wheels I don't need. Now, these fabricators, of course, we want the fabricators to go on after the refinery. So the refinery is going to be... Whoops. Oh, that's a receiver. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, so the refinery is here. 
So the refinery is what turns the raw materials into uh, happiness. No, into, <laughs> into uh, usable materials that the fabricator can use, as well as biofuel that the generator can use. So we want everything to be pumped in through this conveyor. Ah, it's hard to work like this. Trying to find the right camera angles is, is tricky. Okay, so everything that's going to come in through the conveyor, hit the refinery, and then after the refinery, it should leave. Hopefully it'll leave in the right direction. Maybe it won't. I don't know. I guess we could... Uh, ah, am I out of time already? That's not possible. No, 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 no. My clock is wrong. Okay, I'm going to fast forward this. Okay, so I'm rebuilding my vehicle, and I just wanted to point out something that might be re really helpful for pe for newer players of TerraTech. When you're building your vehicle, try to be sure that in areas that are in danger, in other words, this area here, where it's probably going to get fired at a lot, because this is the front of my vehicle, and I'm going to have lots of guns on here and stuff like, like that, right? Now, when you're when you're putting your two blocks are better than your single blocks, in my opinion. Uh, now. You've got to be sure when you're building your vehicle, you're not putting a lot of blocks, especially in the front, you're not putting them in front like that because to, when I shoot that out, it's going to rip off that entire piece and anything that's attached to it. Whereas if they're attached like this, um, most of my front firing weapons are going to, it's just, it's going to hit less surface area. So just, just something to note when you're building your vehicles, just a FYI. Uh, invaders? Oh, crap. Okay, I was so not ready for an invasion. I, I guess there's a, a lot of people who are upset over the invasions, and I can see why. I mean, uh, I, it would be nice to be able to turn that stuff off. I mean, some of these invaders are probably going to be just brutal, too. And we need to get some guns on here. We, you have 60 seconds to prepare from the moment it says invaders are coming. And uh, we are not even remotely ready to deal with that uh oh boy um let's get some guns on here as quickly as we can the lasers are are always a good choice i love lasers because i can snipe them at range if necessary uh, but i don't know i don't know i don't know how we're gonna do this okay let's see if we can get some more oh oh hey we've seen him before we've seen his creations before they're big they're like this one i don't know can we I don't even... I, my my uh, base might attack back because it's got an AI module on it. I have no idea. It has no cab, though, so I don't know. I don't know. We could be toast. Okay, he's coming. He's coming. And we're so not ready. Uh, pounders. We need pounders. Ah! Okay. Duh! I did save it. Is he coming? He's just sitting there. Okay, so that gives us maybe a couple more minutes to get some infrastructure on this vehicle. <laughs> we're, we're pretty much hooped, I think, if uh, if he comes in charging and it's big, which it probably will be. I'm just, like I said, it's this isn't about looking good right now. This is about getting stuff on your vehicle that shoots. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's put on some side-firing guns. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, Honestly, we're we're made of peanut butter brittle right now. We we we'll go down super fast. And actually, our vehicle's too big. Oh no! Here he comes. Okay. There we go. Okay, he is coming. If my base is able to shoot, then we might be in good shape. If my base doesn't shoot, we might be in serious trouble. Oh, 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 he's just, a, he's just a little, oh, nice, 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 get him, now's the time, now is the time, oh, oh, he's got some guns, I like those guns, they're the venture guns, oh, good, now, they, they, in the new patch, they did, they are supposed to have, had to have, supposed to have disabled the block box, but it doesn't appear that they are,
disabled. It looks like you can't see them. So it's you still get block bucks when you kill the bad guys. But uh, they disable the block bucks just because there isn't any apparent use for them right yet. Actually, these guns, I like these guns. So they fire really quick. Yeah, I like them. Uh, they make really good top... They do... They arc, though. The bullets arc just like any other machine gun. But they make excellent guns for the front of your vehicle as high up as possible because they don't arc as much as the regular machine guns do so awesome perfect so we got four of the i think we got four of those where's the other one should be one more at least uh where'd it go now yeah i'm kind of hoping that uh you can turn off the invaders at some point i don't know if they've fixed that as well i don't think so i didn't see anything in the notes in the patch notes oh maybe you only got three of those Oh, bugger. That's too bad. Uh, the Venture blocks, uh, they're pretty good. They're lighter than regular GSO blocks. So the gray are the GSO blocks. The Venture blocks are the multicolored blocks. And they're really good for building flyers uh, because they are so light. And the wheels, of course, I love the look of the wheels. I think the wheels are amazing. Um, but uh, not really necessary with this vehicle. But we can use them as kind of a backup wheel in case we kind of tip over. I don't know, like that, see? We can still we can still accelerate while we're tipped over doing wheelies and stuff. I kind of like that. I don't know. <laughs> Make good backup wheels to have on you anyway. And uh, let's throw on... Uh, let's grab this other wheel. Sure, I, I, I'm i a hoarder. I It's, it's yep, definitely a hoarder. <laughs> like to have lots of stuff kicking around. Uh, also, you know, like... I like, I like guns. I like having lots and lots and lots of guns on my vehicles. I like guns facing every direction, covering my butt from every direction. I think that's super, super important. Okay, so let's get a tractor on here so that we can start bringing over some raw material for these... Oh. Okay, so I'm not sure. Okay, well, I still don't know how the uh, fabricator is supposed to work. Oh, let's get that armor on our vehicle too. That'll be nice. Yeah, some armor right in the front. Oh, we only have a two block. I guess we lost that other venture piece. Oh, well, it's too bad. Too bad, so sad. Okay, let's put our raider back on. Uh, yeah. Kind of need some structure in here. Okay, and, uh, oh, where's... Oh, no. Our, the big tractor is gone! Oh, no, it must have sat on the ground too long. Oh, no, we've still got a small tractor here, so I'm not too panicked. Oh, that's, that stinks, though. Okay, so that's fine. The big tractor's gone. So be it. It's gone. Not enough time to get it all organized. But we still got this one. So theoretically, we should be able to... Oh, another thing. Um, when we lost our, our buddy... Wow, we moved way too fast. Sorry. I kind of... They need to actually slow down those wheels a little bit. The big wheels? The big yellow? The, the Geocorp. Anything that's yellow is Geocorp. They need to slow it down so you don't move so fast, I think. I don't know. It's, well, I guess they're big and they're ugly, and they're supposed to be. And they're supposed to be imprecise. If you want something precise, go for GSO. Uh, so, okay. Why are you not taking my stuff? Take my stuff. Hello? Take my stuff. Ah, I shouldn't have to do that. Okay, so there we go. We've got... There, right. We've got power in the base. We have power in the base. Now, the, the of course, that... Regen shield is not large enough to be able to help me, but I could move it so I could actually take it and move it to more of the edge of the base So I can actually benefit from the healing and actually I think we're gonna do that. I think it's this one. Yes Okay, so we can put that right on the edge of the base. Yeah Yeah, so uh, we'll find better places for this stuff, but uh, for now. I think that's okay Perfect. Yeah, so there we go. The base is up and running and powered. How do you like them apples? Now, yeah, so when they killed our friendly, our little our, our little friendly dude. Look at that. Beautiful. So, I think the... I don't know how the fabricator works. I'm going to have to do some reading, I think, on that before I start messing around with it too much. But, uh, yeah, so when we lost our, our little friendly, we lost the cab. And without the cab, this base won't fire back. Or this turret won't fire back. So yeah, we have an AI module on there, but that doesn't do us any good. We need to get uh, we need to get a cab, and I don't know how we're going to get a cab without fabricating one, because we've already destroyed the uh, <laughs> the guy that was holding it. Oh man. <laughs> okay, so let's go let's go kill a guardian and uh, call it an episode. I I think we did pretty good. We got our base up and running. 
Um, but I'm, I'm terrified to leave it. And if we get invaded, we've got to come back here as quickly as possible. So let's let's go. Let's go see if we can... Uh, we, have, we don't have any guns. Okay, let's... <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to throw on some guns here, guys, first. Uh, we'll repair these. I wonder if we... Oh, oh, well. I wonder if you can hold it in here and have it repair. I don't think so. We'll have to drive in to get that repaired. That's okay. Uh, that armor is useless. If it's only going to cover two spots, I guess we'll throw it on the base for now. Why not? And uh, yeah, I love I love these lasers. The stud fire the stud lasers are amazing. They do lots of damage. I think they're a little OP, but OP, but uh, they don't track all that well. So I don't know. Okay, let's uh, repair those. And then, believe it or not, I think we're good to go. You're like, what? Really? You haven't got any guns on here? But don't worry, we're gonna pick up lots. Ah, th this thing does not turn on a dime. It doesn't turn at all, actually. Okay, so yeah, that repaired that. And we should be able to repair that uh, little tire that's in there. Yeah, just like that. Awesome. So we just gotta kinda wiggle our way in to get that stuff repaired. That's cool. Uh, okay, I think, uh, I think we're gonna take lasers up top here. Just a couple extra lasers. They're not doing any good on the base anyway. The base can't fight at this point in time until we get a cap for it. So let's go kill one guardian. And I'm kind of hoping that we find the solar panels sooner than later because the solar panels will get uh, get that keep that base powered up for longer, I'm hoping. And some more shield generators would be great because I'd love some more for the vehicle. Shield generators with the solar panels would be incredible. Oh, this looks like the uh, artillery. No, oh, I could use the artillery. Sure. Oh, oh, yeah. I think we'll use the old tactic of running them over. Yeah, let's do that. Run them over. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Ah, uh, just like clockwork. Excellent, excellent. Okay, see, and that's why we didn't need to bring a lot of guns, because we can always get more guns from the bad guys. Awesome, so let's take that. And we're going to head back to the base right away, and we're going to call it an episode. I don't know, I, I think we accomplished a lot. I don't know, I, I don't know how long this episode ran. Maybe I ran too long, maybe I didn't long, run long enough. If I didn't run long enough, I apologize. I will make sure that the next one is longer. It's hard to tell when I'm doing the fast forwards, though. Okay, so there we go. Uh, we got some new technology too as well. We got, oh, yes, so these are artillery pieces. I don't know if I've showed them off yet. So yeah, they run in a nice arc like that. And if you want, you can actually make them a direct fire weapon so you can have, turn them upside down. So instead of like that, you have to actually turn them upside, whoops, upside down like so, and they make a great direct fire weapon as well. They do lots and lots and lots of damage. And what's nice is you can keep them kind of buried in the back of your vehicle so they can't be targeted or can't be hit easily by incoming fire, which is nice. So yeah, nice little weapon. Okay, so let's head back to our base. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying the series. Take care.